is Natalie and I'm Katrina and welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to make some nama chocoreto. Nama chocoreto is essentially a hardened ganache and it's really popular in Japan for uh, giving as gifts. So we're going to attempt to make them for some of our friends for the Christmas season. If you want to watch us make some nama chocolate then keep watching. So the ingredients we have laid out right now is 4 bars of dark chocolate. Each of those is going to be 100 grams. So for the dark chocolate, it's 400 grams. And then for the white chocolate, we're making a little bit less and that's going to be 200 grams. And for the dark chocolate one, it's going to be 200 milliliters of whipping cream. And it's going to be 100 milliliters for the white chocolate version. And then for the dark chocolate version, we're adding brandy. It's only like a tablespoon just for like, this is optional, but we just decided, hey, it's the holidays. And then for the dusting, the dark chocolate, we're going to be dusting it with this cocoa powder and the white chocolate, we're going to be dusting it with the matcha powder because it's actually going to be a matcha chocolate. So with chocolate, you always want to temper when you're working with it and to melt it down easier, you want to cut it into smaller pieces first. So that's my first step. I want to do as much as possible with my hands and then I'll go in with my knife. <laughs> Okay, so we had to switch locations because we couldn't use the kitchen anymore, but we're gonna continue down here in our studio. This is the black chocolate. We're gonna start with this first since we're using an induction oven. It's just like we can only do one at a time, so we're gonna start with the dark chocolate one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be putting, this is 200 ml of uh, whipping, whipping cream. So we want it to be on medium heat, so we're just gonna keep whisking it until it starts a little mini boil. And then, so it's off the heat, we're gonna put all the chocolate in. Okay, so... You can see, we just have to slowly mix it all together with this rubber spatula. So we want to make it completely smooth. And this is where I think we can add our liquor. And I am not giving this to Al's family because now this is at home. But yeah, I'm going to go see his family, I think, um, Boxing Day weekend. So I think I want to make like a chocolate cake. Do I have a teaspoon of brandy? It's supposed to be a tablespoon. So let's put two teaspoons. Yeah, two teaspoons. And you know, if you guys are underage, like, you know, you don't, you don't have to do You don't this. have to. I feel like you could even put eggnog in this. I tried the eggnog. I don't really like it. You don't like eggnog? I've never tried eggnog before, so I asked my sister and my mom to pick some up. Grinch um, alert! Grinch alert! You don't like eggnog? Grinch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I tried it and I don't really like it. But if we're speaking alcohol, <laughs> and you guys want to get some this Christmas season, mm -hmm. I love umeshu. It's like a Japanese plum wine it's good. that we drink all the time. Plum wine is very good. And yeah. it's, honestly, Japanese culture, there's a lot of drinking. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this is very smooth. So now we're going to be putting them into the mold. So we've lined this earlier with parchment paper. I'm going to hold this open for Katrina so she can pour it in. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. That smells good. It's really chocolatey. The reason why you really want to use like a rubber spatula is because it's so much easier to scoop. Like you can clean the edges off of a pan with a rubber spatula a lot easier than with like anything else. And that's yeah. something our mom taught us. Yeah, our mom makes like the best uh, baked goods. She can make like Japanese cheesecake better than like, better than Uncle Tetsu. But we're just like, we boost our mom a lot. We boost her because she deserves to be boosted. So my sister went to go wash the utensils. I'm gonna get started on the matcha chocolate. So I have about 100 milliliters of whipping cream. I'm gonna put that into the pot. So as soon as you start seeing a little bubble, you take it off the heat and then you all, all pour in the chocolate chips. Yep. Okay, I think it's starting to heat. It's okay. So let's turn this off. We're gonna add in all that chocolate. chocolate. And we're just gonna mix! So we're just stirring quicker. Like, you're driving me mad, woman! So what are you guys doing for the holidays? Yeah. Comment down below, let us know. Yeah. I mean, I know COVID's gonna make it hard to do like anything. And like, if you're in Toronto, or if you're in Ontario at least, if you're alone, I believe you can like join forces with one other household. But yeah, it's a really easy thing to make, right? Like, it's literally just chocolate and whipped cream, and then you just need something to dust. So I'm just preparing the matcha powder. Yeah. So we're gonna taste as we go, just to make sure there's no like set amount for this. I don't have a sifter right now, so I'm kind of just like... She doesn't want to give me clumps basically, because right now we have clumps that she just clumped in. Yeah, so I'm going to put in some more matcha. Sorry, I'm just putting in a lot of arm work. <sighs> I'm tired. Oh, this is so easy. 
I have a lot of friends that are like patissier, like their job is like pastry chefs and stuff like that, or like even just chefs. A lot of them say like, you get a lot of arm work. So like arm day doesn't exist because they don't need it. Did you have any Japanese songs in your 2020 playlist? I don't really listen to Japanese music. Do you? Disgrace. Of course I, I listen do. to like, I know some like Japanese OPs, but like, she's an anime nerd. I listen to like Zin 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 Zin. Kimi wo oika. Oh, no, that's oika. Sagash. Sagash. Oh, I thought Sagash had you met. I thought Sagash had you met. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's no part where it says Suzuki. No. It's all Hajimeru. Kimi wo Zin Zin Zin. Kimi wo Zin Zin Zin. Sukara boku wa Kimi wo Sagash had you met. Okay, enough. Enough. We pour. Is Just make sure it like spreads down. It's so like... Yeah, that's what I mean. Do you think we took it off the pan too quick? Yeah, this <laughs> No, I think it's fine. Just leave it. Okay, guys, I think this one is much better. So, we're gonna pop these in the fridge for like basically overnight and then we'll get back to you guys when we open it tomorrow. Okay, so we just took out all of the stuff and we have the boxes ready to pack them and then just some materials that we're using. We're just gonna take the chocolates out of the mold. So here we're sifting some cocoa powder onto the dark chocolate and we're gonna be sifting the matcha powder onto the matcha chocolate. The caramel ended up being a little too sticky and a little too soft, so we ended up having to scrape it. And now we're just packaging everything the best way that we can. We hope you guys enjoyed watching us make some Nama chocolate. And hopefully we've inspired you, you know, to make your own holiday creations. Valentine's Day is coming up. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Take Bye. care! Okay, so the ingredients for this recipe are going to be all on the screen. You basically want to put them all into a pot and mix them together until everything is dissolved. This is so we can avoid burning. Don't burn this. You're going to see some bubbling and that's okay. We want the evaporation. At about the 45 minute mark, you're going to start to see a more noticeable color change and once it starts browning, it's a much quicker process to get it to the thick consistency we want. I thought I was done here, so I poured it onto a pan, but I actually went back and put it on the stove to get it a little harder. But there you have it, your Nama Caramel. I hope you guys give it a try. Happy holidays, everyone.